This is just clean water going on to 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. And then again, a bit of raw sienna. Clean the brush. And then let's go ultramarine, hangs grey. Just want to get some sort of atmosphere up in the sky in the distant land. More Payne's grey, ultramarine. So I'm trying to get sort of light and dark areas next to one another. It's had a bit of burnt umber in there as well, a bit more water, just to bring the hairs back together on the brush. Nice and dark. Just brush that in like that, a bit more down there. Something like that. Maybe a touch of red in there as well. A bit of red, a bit of blue. A bit of lizard as well. And it's just up in some distant clouds. Two big ones up there. Bit of tissue, a few more, just adds to the texture in the sky. Just a bit on this side as well. Darken those edges a bit more. As it dries, it goes on stronger. As long as it's still damp, all you're doing is just putting, just mixing wet paint around. And once I've got that on, A little bit of distant land to put in. I should have put that in a bit lighter, really, not to, not to worry. Put that in a bit too strong, right? I think I'll just leave it at that for now. Then. And in front of there, we've got a bit of a bit of green, a bit of lemon yellow, Payne's grey, it's a really strong green. Pull this tight, paper stretch a little bit. There's our background we can work with now. And then what I'm going to do next, we want a few rocks. So I think first, let's just put in a bit of Just light colours. See where the lights are catching, catching the grass and whatnot. And then next, I'm going to put in these rocks now that are amongst all the grass in the foreground. So I'm just going to. I'm bother cleaning the brush because we're going darker. Burnt umber, ultramarine. Just enough water on the brush to hold all the hairs together. And it's sort of a few little rock shapes. Put 
take our little scraper thing, corner of a piece of card. how it contrasts nicely against the light area in the water. And I'm going to clean the brush and pop these lighter colours in just to contrast against the dark rocks. Just a little bit, not too much. And then we've also got you know, sticking with a hake. Just a little bit of my like, little fence posts along there. Let's leave a gap then, that's where you walk through, then maybe there's just a few more little posts up there. Let's put the cross pieces on. Change the colour slightly, a bit of light red. Switch to blue. And then, and then. Let's just stick his little dog. Little dog and then. Little shadows coming off there. Making sure I haven't got any water on my hands before I go like this. Just trying to keep these birds really small. I'll do it for a two man. Very quick impression. So let's see what it looks like with the mount on. So with our paint with the mount in, if we go in and have a closer look, as usual we can see the sky, it's a mixture of all the dark colours on the palette, with the lighter ones as well. We'll start off with a bit of raw sienna and then the darker areas, um, ultramarine, pines, grey, a bit of alizarin crimson. Burnt umber, light red, a bit of everything really. Bit of tissue taken out, and then just using the uh, the hake as well to do off all these little narrower clouds as they go off towards the horizon. And then the distant land mountain here, put in using the same colours as the, the uh, sky. Put this lighter area of land in there just to contrast against the uh, the darker shadowy areas. Looks just. Looking as if the sun's sort of catching it, coming down. Got our two little figures there, that man and his dog, just the shadows coming off. The rock simply put in using the, uh, putting it on dark and then using the, uh, the card just to scrape it all in. And then we've got our fence posts just using the, uh, the hake brush. A few more over on the other side. Thanks for watching, hope you like that. Keep practicing.
Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.